Hi everybody, it's Chef Martin in the Thermoworks Demo Kitchen and today we're bringing the heat with Brooke Egbert of Brooks Sweets and Treats. It's creme brulee, right? Yes. Nothing, nothing special about it other than that. This is just a basic creme brulee. Is basic that creme brulee. We got uh, five ingredients here, so very simple, and it's one of my favorite desserts. Oh, and one of mine. And if you've ever had it, it's probably one of your favorites too. We're going to talk today about how to get it right and uh, the temperatures we need and all these things. So uh, let's get to it. What do we need to do first? Okay. So first things first, we are going to get your heavy whipping cream. We are going to use one cup. We are going to put it here into the pan. I'm going to go a little bit more. have about one okay. cup here. I'm going to snag one of these. I'm going to set nice. that there. Okay. And then we are going to get, this is our half a cup of sugar. Okay. We're going to put this in here as well. And then we are going to get our, these are vanilla beans. This is a vanilla bean paste. And we're going to also put this in here. So that's the scraped innards of two vanilla beans. If you don't have vanilla beans, you can just use vanilla extract. Is that correct? Correct. Uh huh. Yep. Okay. And so then we're going to put this on about a low the, on the right on the yep. right here. This way. Yep. We're going to do about a low medium heat, and we're going to stir this all together here. I'm going to make sure you incorporate everything really, really well, and we're going to put this on heat till it comes to a boil for about five, six minutes. Once it comes to a boil, then we are going to let it steep. So we'll turn off the heat and we'll place the lid on top. Okay, so next we are going to place half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So that, that's, a, that's a rolling boil there. Yep, rolling boil. So Doesn't what we're going to do is we're going to turn it off. And we're going to put this over the top. And I'd like to take it off the heat. Okay, is yeah. That... yeah, well, yeah, these bars here get really hot. They'll keep something simmering for actually some time. So that's a really okay. good idea. Like to set it off so it steeps, and you're going to do that for about five, ten minutes. Five, ten minutes, okay. Uh -huh. And then we'll go from there. Okay, great. All right, so that's been steeping for about 10, 15 minutes. Yep, yep, uh, that's so right. So we should have lots of flavor infused in there. Yes. Oh my gosh, doesn't that look delicious? It smells good, even through the mask. Yes. <laughs> Um, so what do we do next? What, so what, what we're going to do next, we're going to get your, your other remaining amount of cream, your one okay. cup here. Gotcha. And we're going to get our whisk and we are just going to add this to the steeped vanilla bean extract and other cream. Just going to make sure we whisk it all together really nice. Just make sure you stir it really, really good there. Basically what that's doing with your cooled down cream, adding it to your other cream. It's just mixing it all together. So we're kind of lowering the temperature on, yes. our, on our hot cream here so we don't scald the eggs, right? Exactly. You don't want scrambled eggs with creme no. brulee. That's... Vanilla scrambled eggs are nobody, it's nobody's favorite <laughs> treat. <laughs> yeah, that's just no thank you. <laughs> so now at this point, I'm going to let that set for a second. We want to make sure these eggs here are nice and scrambled. Get those whisked up, not scrambled, whisked, I should say. So that's five egg yolks there, right? Yep, five egg yolks there. Give that to you here. And I'm just going to put this right into this bowl. Make sure we get all those eggs. That is good to go. Nice. So next, what we're going to do is we are going to add about a fourth a cup at a time. At the same time, we want to be whisking. So okay. this here. is how we temper you're, you're, our eggs. I'll, I'll whisk and you pour. How's that yes. sound? Yes. So okay. did you add the pinch of salt? I didn't. Let's okay. Add... Yep. We'll just do a little bit of pinch of salt into here. All right. Sounds there good. Very good. Yep. Put that there. And... and just do very, very slowly. Now, this is how you temper your eggs here. So we're tempering them to make sure they don't scald. Uh, even if this, this shouldn't be hot enough to scald them, but just to be sure, we're just going to add it really slowly as we go. And that way we get a really good incorporation and we prevent anything from scorching, right? Yep. It's very nice and slow. If you do it too quick, you, you start making some scrambled eggs or you don't want that. <laughs> and we've got that nice and mixed there. So we are just going to Pour it here into the strainer. You don't need an ultra fine strainer for this, but you want something that has kind of a finish mesh on it. So you catch. Yeah, see. Look at all those little bits that we caught in there. Little yeah. bits of vanilla bean, little bits of egg yolk that didn't that didn't incorporate. So those would have been lumps in our custard, and that's 
less fun. So there we go. So next we have our ramekins and a nine by 13. So what we're going to do is now we're going to pour the custard into the ramekins. And then once we have that poured into there, we will put it into our preheated oven and we will pour water in here. So you're gonna have a water bath and that's how you're gonna cook it in the oven. And with these ramekins, they're a little bit smaller. So these are about five ounces here. And you wanna make sure that you don't fill them completely. You wanna to try to have just a nice smooth. And there we go. I'm just gonna do this. Fill these all up here. Those vanilla beans, oh my goodness. Cool, well let's go ahead and get those in the oven then, yeah? What okay. temperature are we setting the oven to? We're going to do 300 and it's gonna go in for about 40 to 50 minutes. We preheated the oven, so we're gonna stick these in there and then we're gonna pour the water in, right? Yes, yep, that's right. Because trying to carry it over there with the water in the container, it rarely goes well, right? No, no, you do not want water in your creme brulee either. No. That is not a good combination. So we're putting this in a water bath. Obviously you can't do this with cold water. It'll take forever to heat the water up. You'll be sucking heat out of, out of, out of, out of the custards. So we've got some hot water here and we're actually gonna temp that. And yeah, we're up at 131 degrees there. You're gonna want something 120 or higher before you go into the oven. 130 is really good. Uh, you want something that's hot enough to get the eggs uh, and the custard kind of already cooking yep. a little bit. You yep. don't want to have boiling water, which will cook the eggs too much. Yeah, you don't um, want scrambled eggs. <laughs> all right, let's, shall we move to the, I'll, I'll get this and you get that? Yep, How's that yep, sound? Yeah, that sounds great. An advantage of the cloth is it helps prevent splashing as the water goes in. Again, helping to keep your creme brulees nice and dry as they should be. See the water creeping up the sides. We want to go at least halfway up on these. Is that right? Yep. You want to go about halfway. So it's right in between the ramkin area and right about there. Right there. Is that good? So, yep. I'd say that's perfect. All that right. That's great. Mm -hmm. Plug this back in. Yeah. And we're going to cook these for about 40 to 50 minutes. You yep, say. 40, 50 minutes. What temperature are we going for on the, on there? So with the creme brulee, you want to cook that to about a 170 degrees. Okay. Great. So. Close that. Okay, so our timer's gone off. We set it for 40 minutes, so we can check it now. And we're shooting for what again? 170? 170 on the temperature Wait. of the creme brulee. We can go yeah. up to 175 even probably there, huh? Yes. All Good. right, yeah, so 173 about. That's, that's fantastic. So we can go ahead and take that out, right? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. So we've got these out. Now, um, Brooke, some people might wonder, oh, about, about temping these, about the, they might be worried about um, like leaving a hole in it or something. Do you find that to be a problem? I don't feel like it's a problem when you're temping it at all because you are going to be putting sugar on top and you're going to be caramelizing that for the, okay. the brulee part. So we're gonna let these come to like room temperature on the counter and yeah. then chill them, correct? Yeah, so anywhere from a one to two hours to so the room temp. These smaller ramekins, it's about an hour or so. Out of expediency, we had some pre-prepared creme brulees, right? They're yes. not brulee yet, right now they're just cremes. Yep, they're just cremes. Uh, we're gonna brulee these. Uh, we wanted to shoot this without having to wait for the others to chill. We'll chill the others and eat them. But we have these five, so we're gonna add some sugar and toast them. But something you might wanna do, some of these, when they're wrapped in the fridge, because um, you do want to wrap them, otherwise they can dry out, uh, have accumulated just a little bit of surface moisture. Just wanna take a paper towel and just kinda like, just dab it there just, just dab a it little there, bit. Just a little bit. And that will help you get a better, a better burn on the sugar. And that sugar is so good burn. That, that brulee is yeah. some of my favorite on creme brulee. You absolutely want that. So um, what you're going to do here, you're going to probably put about a tablespoon or less okay. on it. You're just going to kind of shake it on top. And while you're doing that, you're just wanting to rotate. And once you get, you can also rotate. And then just kind of tap. Mm. You want to get all edges of that custard covered with the sugar. So we want a nice, and not not even necessarily a light coat. We don't want a super light coat. No, right? you want you want to. So this one would probably definitely add a little bit more to it. How's oh. that look? How's that oh look yeah, good? that looks great. Okay, take a look. See, that looks it looks really like good. there's a, a nice thick, heavy frost on there. Yeah, so probably about a tablespoon per. But you can always add more. And while you're doing this, 
you want to make sure that you continue to rotate with your hand and you're getting that consistent melting and scorching mm, of that. Smells like cotton candy. Yes. Right here. And you really kind of want to paint the surface of the sugar, um, like almost with the tip of the light blue flame, as if it was a feather for painting. That'll give you about the right heat in the right place. And um, you don't want to hold it in one spot too long or else you'll scorch the custard underneath. You don't want to make it black. You want to yeah. caramelize it to that nice, perfect brown. That's beautiful. I'm going to give it a shot, is, yeah? And then at that point, you just leave it right there. And start with the next one. And then that's it. We're ready to eat it, yep, right? We are ready to eat well, it. Well, here, I got you a spoon. I got me a spoon. I'm going to take this one. I love that one. Oh, right yeah. This one sounds good. Let's see. Okay. Let's see if we can see how it goes. See how tasty it is. Tap, tap. When it's completely hard shell like that. There it goes. Here we go. Look at that. Shards of sugar in there. Mmm. Mm. That's delightful. That is delicious. Thank you so much, Brooke, for coming and showing us how to do this today. It's delicious. I've had a delightful time. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, if you decide to try this at home, which of course I encourage, remember the ingredients are simple. It's all about the method and the temperatures for this. There's just a couple of things that go into it. There's no room to hide if you overcook it. So watch those temperatures, yep. hit your 170 degree mark, and you're going to have fantastic creme brulee. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and turning on notifications so you can find out when we post more content. Until next time, thank you so much, Brooke. You're so welcome. Thank you for being with us. This is Chef Martin from Thermal Works. Uh, happy cooking. <laughs>